Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to allow no admin users uh, to view and manage checklists. Okay, so we go into our Red Mine and we are logged in as administrator. So we create a testing issue for checklists permissions. Alright, so we add the checklist here. We'll use a predefined one from our template. Okay. So we have a checklist. And now we go to another browser and there we are logged in with a testing user who is not having permissions to view checklists. So we refresh our page and open the newly created ticket. As we can see, there is no checklist here. Okay, so to make this not admin user to see the checklist, uh, then you have to go to administration, that is on the top right corner here, go to roles and permissions and select the role of the user that you would like to uh, have permissions so in our case it is the reporter this is the role of this user okay you could check this anytime when you go to administration users and then for the specific user project tab and here you can see the role of this user so our user has a reporter role Okay, so now we just go to issue tracking section and here are four permissions uh, for the checklist. We are going to enable them all. However, depending on your case, you could enable only view checklist, for example, or view and done checklist, or just whatever you like. Alright, so we just save our changes and now return back to this test user and when we refresh the page we see, just a second please, we see that when we scroll down there is a checklist here. So we can see it, we can edit it, we can add, uh, enable, disable checklist items, all permissions are now done. So, yeah, with the test user, we can now see and manipulate and do some things with the checklist here. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was uh, helpful for you. If you like it, you could check other videos and articles from RedMineUp. So, bye bye for now.